Hey yo, Bladrins, welcome back to your new Latin Quick Repairs episode. Today's going to be a bit of a different video. This is more or less going to be a series that I'm going to start producing based on Blackberry phones. Now, the reason why I do this is because we have a community. I've actually got a community that I've never spoken about before on the channel. The all around Blackberry is called the Lunar Project. If you follow the r slash Blackberry Reddit community, you might have seen us before and you might have seen us promote the Discord server that we have before. I'll leave the link in the description below. We have over 300 members in that in that server so if you like your blackberry devices feel free to join us we're more than happy to assist you and also we have a full entire website dedicated to the archives the software the flashing tools everything you can think of so today we're going to be using that to bring out some tutorials on how to get your blackberry devices running in the modern day so today we're going to start straight from the basics, learn how to flash your firmware onto your phone to get these devices running. Now a lot of Blackberries that you buy nowadays, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. A lot of times um, in my community uh, we've encountered quite a few different users joining the group saying that look my Blackberry phone is not running a firmware, it's um, not loading into the operating system, we need to flash it so we always assist. That's why this is the first video. Now you can see that obviously this one is already running Blackberry OS 7. Here's my personal one that I use. But what I'm going to do is deliberately nuke this phone so that we can start from scratch basically delete the firmware off the phone so it's dead basically simulating what you guys have and we're gonna start from there so I'll be back when I kill this phone and I'll be back in a second now I've nuked the Blackberry right here so this is exactly what you should be seeing it should say error 507 that basically means you need to reload the firmware now I've got my computer set up ready to go and my iPhone right here so let's switch over to the computer now on your computer if you haven't done this before what we need to do is we need to head on over to our web browser of choice and we need to head on over to lunarproject.org this is our exact website right here so you can see i have teamed up with two other people that we did this whole thing with and now we've got a massive community going which is awesome so in order to find all the firmwares the uh, the software the desktop software you need to go to this archive page and you can see it's all corresponding in uh, different folders that I've organized I was part of the uh, archiving so I've done all of this so you want to look for Blackberry OS and then you want to go to firmwares and then this is a curve 9360 so I looked for a 9360 unfortunately you can't really search curve 9360 or whatever in the filter name so you kind of just have to look for it so most likely most firmware should be in the generic firmware section so you can see we've got quite a few most of them this is where I got my one from and I downloaded the latest one and depending on if your phone is uh, branded or not then you can also look on these folders right here now depending on if your phone is branded or not so obviously this one's a generic one it doesn't have any branding on it this one for example this is a 9780 this is telstra branded so obviously if we have telstra then you need to look for that if not then you can always look for a generic firmware as well so once you have got your firmware downloaded it will be an exe file look for the flashing and desktop software folder right here and then download blackberry desktop software now download the latest one obviously depending on what phone you have but most of the time you should always stick to the latest one so i've got 7.1 right there now once you have got those two you can go to your downloads folder or wherever you saved it so i've got it in my downloads folder i've got it right here and this is the firmware right here so let's just quickly delete this we don't need this what we need to first do is install the desktop software as that's got our blackberry drivers so let's click on yes awesome and just run through the setup and this will come up so if it asks that you need to download any redistributable files click on install and now i'm going to fast forward through this okay so it's all complete now so if this is still running you can just click on cancel um, and click on yes we don't need that anymore 
um now it's going to ask you to configure all of this what i would usually recommend is keep this off start a blackberry desktop software when the device is connected and automatically check for updates let's turn that off because we've got the latest one anyways um you can do allow bluetooth connections and then if there's anything else here this is blackberry enterprise server stuff that doesn't exist anymore so uh, we can leave that click on get started and now the software is running so what we need to do is we need to connect our blackberry device so i've got myself a micro usb cable right here and i'm going to connect that there we go so that's connected now now this might come up right here it says blackberry desktop software cannot communicate with the connected device what we want to do is we want to click on cancel and if you have noticed it actually has come up with the device that we've got right here and our blackberry pin which unfortunately is useless now but the next thing you need to do is look for your firmware so this is generic right we want to click on this and open that and click on yes click on yes okay now if blackberry desktop manager is still running which it is you could just close this out so let's press cancel and let's close that out and let's try again there we go so you can see it's come up right here with our firmware installation click on next uh, you don't need to worry about the country or region click on next yes there we go and now this will install now you may be wondering as to why the firmware is an exe file like a setup file the reason why is because it holds the actual firmware which is the applications and the operating system but then it also holds um the auto loader aka the the blackberry flashing tool so it's got all of that built in right there um so once this is done let's click on uh, finish and we want to keep this unchecked now click on finish and what i want you guys to do is i want you to locate this uh directory it's going to be on the screen right now um it will be on your c drive so uh, here it is then you want to go to program files x86 then you want to go to common files research and motion and then here we go so this is exactly what we're looking for right here if you want to see your firmware then you can go to shared and then load of files and here is our firmware right here you can actually open that and you can see all the applications that is going to be installed so we've got brick breaker bbm the blackberry.alx that's kind of like a an alx file is kind of like a backup file in a sense um so when it says blackberry.alx is kind of like a whole system backup of everything with the firmware which is quite uh good you've got everything else as you can see so if we back out of that we want to look for app loader right here and here it is this is exactly what you're looking for app loader this is the uh flashing tool so you want to click on run at administrator and click on yes and there we go sometimes it might take a minute sometimes it might take a little bit longer to load up but that's not a problem at all click on next and it automatically detected our blackberry device if this doesn't detect and you're having problems sometimes the trick that i've done is i've pulled out the battery then plugged in the phone and when the red light shows then i'll plug the battery back in while this is running and it will automatically show up sometimes it is a bit finicky if you don't know what you're doing or if this is your first time so just you know sometimes it might also be your drivers so you might need to reinstall the desktop software anyways uh once you have got to this screen and you can see uh your pin your device detected click on next and it's gonna read the actual phone itself to see if there's any firmware the the device model and all that kind of stuff here we go so you can see all the um all the applications that your device can run with the firmware now you can actually go in and edit this yourself as in you can actually select what you want in here so i just want english uk i don't want all these other languages right here let's just uh close that out so go through all of this and just select what you want and what you don't want i definitely want brick breaker so that's staying on there that's my support packages 
um, root certificates i definitely want that's for your web browser i don't need all of this stuff email setup password keeper uh, word mode why not wireless music sync why not and uh, whatever's grayed out that's the core applications that's necessary now what's actually crazy is the fact that if you want to add any applications um, you can do it right here, which is crazy. So um, let's try this. We don't have to do this, but it's worth a shot just to show you guys. If I wanted a browser, then what I could do is I could download a browser right here. So I've got that just downloaded right here. Let's click on extract tool. Here we go. So you can see the two files for Opera. Let's try and load these um so we can locate the downloads folder opera mini dot alx there we go let's see if it will load uh, you just refreshed oh would you look at that opera mini that's awesome this was only just a test i didn't really expect to show you guys this but i thought why not let's minimize this and what we can do is we can click on next and this is just showing you um a confirmation of basically what you've selected it's going to say you must activate your device wirelessly to continue and send emails but doesn't exist anymore so let's just click on finish and our blackberry handset is flashing and you'll see a reboot maybe once or twice more than normal just leave it on the side until it boots up and it says successful on this display Awesome. So as you can see, the loading operation was successful. Now we can close this and we can disconnect the phone. We don't need to have it connected anymore. And we can just wait until the BlackBerry phone boots up and loads into the software. There we go. Oh, look at this, it's loaded. Awesome, awesome. There is our BlackBerry phone sorted out. Let me just put this keyboard away so I can um, use the phone a bit more. So let's see, we need to scroll down. There we go, click on okay. Uh, we don't need a valid SIM card. Click on continue, continue. So you can kind of go through this tutorial uh, video right here, but I don't want to watch that because I know how to use these. Um, so here is normally where you'd set up everything, uh, passwords, wallpapers, all that kind of stuff. You were able to obviously set up uh, email accounts, BBM. Unfortunately, that doesn't work anymore. So, you know, uh, you could just exit this out, click on exit and that's it. 
that's our blackberry phone sorted if you would also like to see what firmware your blackberry is running you can go to the settings application then you can go down to device and you can scroll down till you find about device versions so you can see that my device is a 9360 as obviously mentioned and this is running 7.1 bundle 2039 which should be the latest firmware for this phone and then if you uh press uh the trackpad then you can also see what it runs the type of um you know core services it has and that's basically about it thank you guys very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments uh, down below and if you like this setup let me know what you think as well if you have any knowledge about blackberry phones or developing applications if you have any firmwares that you would like to uh, request for us to upload on our archive page then feel free to join our discord community or send us an email down below and we're more than happy to assist you before we go i just want to see if opera mini has installed and uh, yes it has you can see right there opera mini has installed thank you guys very much for watching this video this is a lunar project uh, series that i'm basically making for my community and for our team so you start to see more blackberry related content on the channel and obviously landing quick repairs will continue to keep going about landing quick repairs the office that i had i had to let it go unfortunately so i'm back home in obviously my old bedroom doing the same stuff again but sooner or later i'll try and look for another office but in the meantime we're going to be working from here and we'll continue to push out more repairs and more blackberry related stuff thank you guys very much for watching this is mabeen from lunar project and landing quick repairs and i'll see you again in the next video